I built my first SAS in 2018. It was a landing page builder. I knew a little bit of JavaScript, some jQuery and CSS, which obviously is not enough to build a website builder. I had to choose some more advanced tech. For the backend, I chose Python and Django. It wasn't such an obvious choice back then in 2018. Today it's easy, Next.js, everybody is using it. But back there we had Ruby on Rails, PHP Laravel, Django Python and Node.js. All of those ecosystems were quite developed. I chose Python just because I hate JavaScript. Yes, that's simple. I have enough of JS on the front end. Can I have some joy of programming while making the backend, please? For the frontend, I stick to React.js because it's the most popular library. Popular means it has huge ecosystem, plugins, themes, libraries, guides. Variety makes life simpler. Popular also means that it will be easier to hire a developer. Simple logic. The biggest part of React.js is JS. I only had to fight the JavaScript related problems. Since it was easy to learn and build, I was able to code an entire single page application without having any experience in the past. Funny, my first SPA is Unicorn Platform. the SaaS I sold for 800k. And I also used jQuery, all the good jQuery. It's easy to use jQuery to handle small interactivity. Forms, galleries, zoom ins, much easier than React because you don't need to compile the stuff, configure bundling, and you don't need to care about the server side rendering. You just inject a script and use it. Perfect choice for static pages, which my landing page generates. Let's fast forward from 2018 into today. After six years, what would I do differently? Honestly, nothing. It works well. After I sold the SaaS, the new owner seems to be adding new features even faster than I did. So if I was able to travel in the past and change my choice, I wouldn't. It's okay. There are some problems with the UI library. It's called end design. It's great, but the app is stuck at the third version. They can't upgrade it to the current major version 5. It's because it's backwards incompatible. So we can just npm update. If I was choosing an UI library today, I would pick something more granular, such as Redix UI or Shad CN UI, which is practically Redix UI. After selling Unicorn Platform, I started a new SaaS. Paracast.io. You might be curious, which tech stack am I using now? I chose Next.js plus React.js plus Tailwind CSS. Why? The same reason. Those are the most popular. Today choosing a popular stack is even more important because of AI. LLMs are trained on public data. Llama, ChatGPT, Claude, Grok. Those learn from what we see on the internet. The more data about the topic there is on the internet, the more AI knows about the topic and the better code it generates. This is why it's crucial to choose the most popular stack today. Even if you are not familiar with it, AI already generated 80% of the code for my current SaaS. So even though I don't like JS, I have to choose JS. Even though I don't like Tailwind CSS, Tailwind CSS is the industry leader and it means AI can generate decent Tailwind code. And since Tailwind is popular, it will be used by AI widely and become even more popular. It's a loop. JavaScript won, Tailwind won. In fact, there is no need to learn any other programming languages besides the one that AI speaks the best, JavaScript. So if you want to cut your work dramatically, you choose the most popular tech. You also want to ask me, what about the SaaS boilerplates? It's a booming niche right now. Personally, I don't like the idea of using a boilerplate because of two reasons. First, the most boilerplates is just a compilation of existing modules. You can npm install them one by one and get pretty much the same result. The second reason, I want to understand what's going on in my code fully. Any black boxes or chunks of code that are not used create disturbance in my head and bloat my application, which I don't like. So no thanks. To sum up, I prefer to start with a plain framework. Since we live in the AI era, I choose JavaScript and Next.js because they are the most popular and 
Therefore, AI can generate quality code for me. One important thing I want to talk with you about. I know you watched this video because you feel unconfident. You are not sure whether your next app will bring you the internet money or not. And you hate this state of uncertainty. You want me to verify your choice. You want to make sure if this guy made it to 16k per month with JavaScript, so can I. The truth is, yes you can, and JavaScript has nothing to do with that. You can build your app with whatever tech you want. JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, PHP. Man, you can go Haskell if you want. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is idea, distribution, your storytelling skills, sales skills your marketing plan. What's under the hood of your app doesn't really matter. It can load 0.2 seconds or 5 seconds. If your tool solves the problem, people will wait. So don't worry much about the tech stack, because there are more important things to worry about.